Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to set up a third-party fish food feeder using the Prophylux's 1 to 10 volt interface. For the purpose of this video, we're going to use the IND Aquatics AF4 frozen food feeder as an example. To get started, connect the 1 to 10 volt communication cable to your Prophylux following the instructions from the auto feeder manufacturer. With the cable connected to your Prophylux, you can now connect to your controller and set up the feeder. We're going to first program the 1 to 10 volt interface so the Proflux knows that it has a feeder connected to it. In this case, the IND Aquatics AF4. Press the menu icon and select 1 to 10 volt interfaces. Select the interface number where you have your feeder connected on the Proflux. The interface number you choose will depend on which Proflux 1 to 10 volt port you have the cable connected to. Set the function to Auto Feeder. Then choose your auto feeder number. If this is your first auto feeder, choose 1. In the output signal section, adjust these settings according to the feeder manufacturer's recommendations. Press save when you're ready to move on to the next step. Press the back arrow icon, then the menu icon. Select extras, then feeding. Press the auto feeders tab, then type in a description for this feeder. Since we assigned feeder number 1 to the 1 to 10 volt page, we're going to use feeder number 1 here. In the timer activate section, select an unused timer number. This timer will be responsible for triggering the feeder. In the auto feeder settings page, you have the option to track how much food is remaining in the feed container. To use this feature, enter the capacity of your feed container here then type in the threshold for when you want the Proflux to notify you that food is running low. Afterwards, press save, then press the refill button and click apply. With the Proflux, you also have the option to automatically activate a feed pause when the feeder is activated. If you want to use that feature, click the feed pauses tab, choose the feed pause, and select the feeder which shall activate it. Now you're ready to set up the feeding schedule. Press the menu icon, back arrow, then processes. Select the timer number you assigned to the feeder. Press the switch mode tab and set the switch mode to feeding. Type in a description for this timer, then press save. Press the schedule tab, press the add button, then specify the time you want to feed and the feed portions for this event. Since we're using the IND Aquatics feeder as an example, we're going to leave it at one feed portion. The actual feeding portions for that device is programmed on the feeder itself. When you're done, press Add. If you need to add more feeding events, just press Add again to create another event. For the last step, choose the days of the week or intervals for when you want to feed. Then press Save. Your 1 to 10 volt feeder is now set up and ready to use. If you have any questions about this video or need assistance with this setup, feel free to contact us on any of our support channels. Links and contact info can be found in the description box below.